was over, but come on, man. You're in one of the barbecue capitals of the world. So right now, I'm still in Dallas right now, and this time, I'm at Juicy Bones Barbecue. Right here, baby. Black-owned establishment. Uh, just talk to the guys. They're hooking me up right now with the lick. I'm going to get back to you and see how it tastes. Hey, this is about to be excellent. I can't wait. So, follow me. The menu looking mighty good. That's just a full menu at the counter. Okay, yeah. Let me get this here. Yeah, come on down to the bar. First, first and foremost, Moses from the South Side, man. Come on, y'all. <laughs> hey, guy, look, everybody who follow me, if you're from Chicago, you already know how we roll. You already know some of the best barbecue coming out of Chicago, man. And we can take this anywhere in the world. So, my brother Moses here, he good to go, my dude. South right. Side to the fullest. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> so, I'm about to try this. I'm about to try this barbecue, y'all. And I'm going to get back to you. Hold up. Yo, yo, what's going on? Okay, so uh, you don't see any food in front of me because that day was crazy. It was right before my flight was about to leave uh, from Texas, and uh, I had to hurry up and eat and get to the flight. But still, gonna bring you a review of uh, of um, Juicy Bone. Look, okay, so this is where I where I stand with it. Um, everybody's barbecue is different and special in its own right. And our juicy bones, are, you know, have, have, have a very good flavor. The flavor of the ribs, the, what, and I think, I believe that day was baby back rib day. Man, look, ain't nothing like a baby back rib. I prefer a baby back over a spare rib any day of the week. It's more meaty, although they say the spare rib is bigger per se. I believe that the, the baby back has the, most, has the better meat content on the bone. And they nailed the baby back rib. They nailed it. Um, it was great. It, it didn't need sauce. Um, and with that being said, the sauce was tremendously good. And I, you guys know how I am based off the last video. I'm not a sauce guy. But also you can tell that the person making the sauce was from Chicago. And a very, it had a, it had a very good brown sugar based sauce. Um, that just, it worked. It worked with the barbecue. It went with the barbecue. And I definitely give, I definitely for the um, for the for the rib, I definitely give them an eight out of an eight to nine out of ten on that. Plus the sauce added to it made it better, so it was really good. Um, the brisket, the brisket was good. The brisket was good. It had a good flavor. Um, I would pref I prefer the uh, juicier portion of the brisket than I do the fat, which is the lean, which is the um, more lean portion. Um, but it, although they gave me the flat, the flat pieces were good. And also, I also ordered a brisket sandwich. That right there, that chopped brisket sandwich. And if you get the sandwich, don't get it in slices, get it in chopped. Man, oh man, melts in your mouth, baby. And they toast the bread for you, melts in your mouth. So shout out to Juicy Bone Barbecue in, in, in Dallas, man. Um, Dallas was a great experience this time around for barbecue. Last time I went, it wasn't that much of a good experience, but this time was definitely, um, was definitely worth my while. It was definitely something that I could say, okay, now I got a couple of spots I can go to uh, that I can run with when I get back down there. So, shout out to Juicy Bone Barbecue and Texas. Man, y'all, yeah, Dallas, Texas, y'all look them up. Go see my boy Moses. Moses from the South Side, baby. If you're from Chicago and down in Texas, go see, the, go see your people, man. Go support them. All right? Thank you, guys. I'm going to holler at you later. Episode 4 coming soon. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Episode 3 and 4 coming soon. We're going to be talking about smoked chicken, baby. So I'm doing jerk chicken and I'm going to do my, um, probably either going to do my apple garlic or my mango chipotle chicken or maybe a special different kind of chicken I've never tried before. But I'm going to teach you how to do it too. And I'm going to teach you how to pull off the perfect chicken on your grill when you're done. Alright? I'm Chef Daniel Hammond, y'all. On Locution was here. Peace.